doing art when I was really, really young. I remember drawing really silly comics about this character called like Super Egg. And then there was another one, uh, Wiener Dogs that flew, that was another one. And then in high school, I had a really phenomenal art teacher and he kind of like turned us all on into all the different mediums. So it was kind of like the printmaking and screen printing and clay and painting and cartooning and just mixing everything together and doing it all kind of at the same time, which was really exciting. Went to college going for pre-med stuff because I wanted to be a doctor and I kept getting distracted because I was painting too much. <laughs> so uh, then I started just doing it as much as I could full time and going to school for it. totally rejuvenated by the desert. I think all of that scrubland and all of the sagebrush is so gorgeous in so many ways and everything about it is just so intense. The smell and the way the light hits it is just really overwhelming. So I think the out there is like my favorite places to pull inspiration. I love painting, I love pattern, I love repetition, I love color, I love natural plants, ocean, everything from the ocean. I do really, really love the cactuses. I think they're really calming. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's easy to do because it's really calming. I love doing all of the woodworking, it's really, really fun. I've noticed and I've been told that my stuff is really kid-centered and I've noticed that over the years and I really want to focus on that. I think little kids being exposed to art and from a very young age and being able to touch everything and play with everything and break things is really important. Having this and doing this is really special to me, especially being a mom. My son's around it all the time. He comes to the studio at school with me and he's starting to do all these weird abstract paintings and that's really exciting to me to be able to see him get really, really into it. Sharing that is really special.